Hi, this is Mike, and this is for Bush Class USA student practice for five natural tinders. And today we're going to get out and uh, gather these tinders and uh, see if we can't get them lit with uh, fire steel. So uh, it's a beautiful day and about 65 degrees and uh, a little bit of wind, though that may help us. So uh, come along and uh, join me on this adventure and uh, see if we can get this lesson done together. Yeah, I've got a little bit of birch bark to harvest here. So, harvest some of that. Got a few good pieces. Yeah, that Here's look. a good score of uh, some cedar bark. This will make good tinder. Let's get some of this in the some of this in the pouch. Alright, good stuff. Here's something I find rather fascinating and I'm at the base of a large cottonwood tree here and uh, there's quite a bit of loose bark and large large chunks. You can kind of see where it's uh, come off here in large shredded pieces of, of this inner bark of this cottonwood. Um, but uh, one of the things I'm finding are little pre-made bundles of tinder and I can only surmise that uh, as I'm looking around here that maybe some of this uh, was part of a, a animal's nest of some sort maybe a mouse or a squirrel uh, but uh, it's all shredded and, and <laughs> pre-made for me so uh, certainly a good good piece of material to uh, look for around a cottonwood tree especially if the bark is really exposed like that. So i take some of that with me and uh, certainly get that uh, burning. The inner bark of the uh, cottonwood tree uh, already pre-shredded by some animal. Very nice. Thanks whoever you were. Another good source is uh, natural tinder is uh, cattail fluff. And uh, this one here, usually about the second go around, second year, uh, works pretty good. Now we're going to gather some of that here and uh, get that in the tinder pouch and we'll give that a try. Yeah. Going to harvest some natural tinder here. Came across some uh, bull thistle. It's got some good uh, down in the seed pods here. So going to get a little of that and uh, get that in the tinder kit and uh, we'll try that a little later. Here's something else that we just came across and that is uh, it's a kind of a, a paper wasp uh, I guess you'd call it a honeycomb and there's no honey in it of course but uh, it is paper paper thin and uh, there's a little quite a bit of it here on the ground and uh, I'm going to gather up some of this and uh, throw that in the tinder pouch and See if maybe that'll light. Just another idea for natural tinder. Kind of windy out here today, but uh, I'm going to see about maybe harvesting this uh, nodule right here in this goldenrod. There's a, it's a type of pith inside here, a small worm sometimes, and uh, it might be something that will take a spark and work as a natural tinder. I've never tried it, but. Uh, Give it a go. We need to get in a couple more though. Let's see another one over here. Let's see. There we go. They're fairly dry, so uh, might work. All right, get them in the tinder box. Yep, been very fortunate here to find a, a bird's nest uh, of some very fine material. Uh, so we're going to harvest it. And uh, very fine grass is another, another kind of
kind of silk and fluff and uh, get that in, in the tinder pouch and give that a try. Another natural tinder. An actual bird's nest. Found some more milkweed husks here with uh, some more silk. It is a, a flash tinder, so we'll have to find something to uh, ignite once it gets lit. But, uh, good stuff. We've got a few pods here I'm gonna try to work with. Okay, moving on, find some more. Uh, really another good source of uh, natural tinders is uh, a mullein uh, plant. This is a second year stock and it's fairly thick and it has a type of pith in it that uh, makes for a real good natural tinder. So I'm going to harvest a little of this and uh, we'll use that for uh, trying to put together our uh, five natural tinders. Uh, this should be interesting. I can see already that there's uh, quite a bit of pith in the center of this. And uh, I think I'll be able to harvest quite a bit out of there and uh, make it work for this project. So, all right, mullen. Uh, also great for hand drills, too. One of the all-time favorite tinders that we have around here, and we have a lot of, is uh, birch bark. And uh, it, it usually will light with uh, very little preparation. Uh, sometimes I find if you get these uh, little finer uh, pieces of uh, birch bark peeling off. You can put a spark to that fairly easy. So let's uh, give it a try here. And there we go. We got flame. And it's got a nice resin in it that uh, makes it burn quite readily. And uh, nice natural tinder. So plenty of that around here and a good one to use. All right. Another good uh, natural tinder that we have in this area is the eastern red cedar. And uh, as you saw me harvesting earlier, these really long strips. Um, you need to kind of break these up by hand. And kind of twist them a little bit. Shred them real good. You can almost see the dust coming off. Uh, so it becomes very, very flammable. Uh, because it's an outer bark, I've noticed uh, when it's really wet, uh, or you know, or has been wet, uh, it doesn't dry out real fast. You can kind of sometimes put it in your pocket and get it to dry a little quicker. But uh, make a bird's nest of it like that, and uh, with it shredded up real good, and uh, throw a spark to it. And there you got good flame. Eastern red cedar. Making for an excellent uh, natural tinder. I like using these for uh, char cloth and making uh, fire with a steel striker. You can see it holds a nice flame there. Takes a spark almost instantly. It's real good. All right, let's get on to the next one. Okay, our third uh, natural tinder and one that I find uh, is kind of interesting. Here's the, a little bit of that uh, nesting material we found from the inner bark of the uh, cottonwood. And um, it has some of the same qualities as does the uh, eastern red cedar. And uh, I like the fact that it's already naturally shredded, but uh, it's easy enough to do even on your own if you just take the stuff right off the tree. But anyway, uh, put a spark to it. 
And again, you can see how it takes a really good flame. Eastern red cedar and cottonwood are some of my two favorite tinders. Burns long enough to give you give you a time to get some uh, twigs on it and get a good fire going. Cottonwood, inner bark of the cottonwood. All right, our, our uh, fourth natural uh, tinder uh, is of course a uh, cattail. Uh, usually the second year. Uh, uh, that it's uh, around and dried out. Uh, usually you can tell when the stalks themselves are not uh, too green. Uh, this one's about to explode in a lot of different ways, so I'm not going to use a whole lot of it. We're going to just take just a little bit of that fluff and uh, put the rest uh, away. We're not going to need a whole lot of that. And. Uh, this is kind of a flash tinder, so this is going to go up pretty fast, but uh, you would use it to extend uh, into some birch bark. But, uh, here we go. Takes a flame fairly quickly. That is the cattail. see as you uh, push it around, gets more air into it, it takes the flame relatively quickly. You can almost get uh, several tries out of it. Very airy. <laughs> it's pretty amazing stuff. All right, now Trying to get this burned up all the way. Kind of don't want it floating around everywhere. Cattail. We have a, another uh, natural tinder here, and that is a thistle, full thistle. Uh, there's these little uh, seed heads. And uh, that again is another flash tinder. Uh, but if you get enough of it together, uh, you get quite a bit of flame out of this. I'll add a little bit more to that just to show you. that off with fire steel. A good flame there. Again, much like the uh, cattail, uh, need to give it a little bit of air, get a good flame. And that is the uh, bull thistle. Earlier you saw a collection of the uh, paper wasp uh, uh, nest, the cone. Let's see how, uh, how flammable that is. Let's give this a try. Even though it feels papery, it appears to be made of a material, much like silk, uh, I suspect. Uh, like what you find in a spider web. It does seem to take a coal. It will not hold it for very long.
So even though it feels uh, like it would be very flammable, it does not appear to take much of a spark. Hold it for very long. I'll try breaking it up here a little bit. Just get some more, just a real thin piece of it. That time I got spark right on it, and it does not appear to want to burn. I don't know what goes into making a paper wasp uh, nest, but no success. Let's try outer layer. Direct sparks. Smolders a little bit, but does not burn. And I'm really putting some material to it. It just will not take it. All right, so that answers that question. There's a piece of that uh, goldenrod uh, that I gathered earlier. And I've cut it in half here to expose some of the pith. And uh, let me see if I can put a spark to it, and then I'll, uh, I'll bring it to the camera here. Well, it appears the uh, the pith will take a spark, but it does not appear to uh, want to hold it for very long. So I don't think I'd want to use that like I would the uh, tinder fungus or false tinder fungus. But eh, we gave it a try, gathered some of it, and uh, maybe if we process it a little bit more, it might work better. But uh, Anyway, wanted to see what the qualities were, and uh, it does take a park, spark and burn a little bit, but uh, doesn't want to... Well, here's that uh, bird's nest that we collected earlier, and uh, it's made up of gra dried grasses, which is primarily what it is, plus uh, a lot of what appears to be cattail and such, but uh, a very natural bundle put together already. So. Uh, I have no doubts that this is going to probably take a flame fairly quickly, but uh, just wanted to show you another natural tinder, yeah, dried twigs, and uh, so if you can find a bird's nest, that is the way to go. Very very flammable with uh, a lot of stuff already gathered by uh, the birds. Alrighty, another natural tinder. <laughs> kind of glad I found that. Here's yet another one that I gathered earlier that also is of some interest. Hopefully I can show you this, and that is uh, milkweed uh, seed, <laughs> silk. Hope we got it there in, in view. All right, touch it off real quick. This is going to go fairly fast, but it does give a flame. I don't want to get it spread too much right now because it is getting rather windy. Uh, but you can see how it acts as a flash, flash type tinder, and you would extend that with uh, birch bark. milkweed, another of nature's natural tinders. Uh, pays to get them kind of dry, of course. Um, you don't want to have uh, a green pot of any sort, to it, uh, the moisture always being your enemy. So, alrighty. 
Well, one more thing I want to try, and that is this uh, this mullen that we collected. Um, but first, cut the bottom half of this off and process it uh, to get the pith out of it, and then. Uh, once we're a little further along, I'll, uh, I'll show you how we're going. My intention is to cut off a short length and then split it uh, probably about four times and then scrape the pith out. Uh, but I'll show you that as we get to it. So, I'll be right back. Okay. Well, use my trusty Swiss farmer here to uh, split it up. And I've got now some, uh, some nice exposed uh, pith. We're just going to shave some of that off here into a nice little pile and, and we'll see uh, what we can get for uh, a pile of pith to, to uh, ignite. So, Okay, I've got some of it shaved down here. This stuff is very lightweight and the shavings are very, very thin and they blow away quite easily. So I'm going to take this opportunity to see if I can't just get some lit here. Down there, we got flame. So the pith burns quite readily, and uh, it's almost the texture of styrofoam. It's uh, it's really quite uh, <laughs> maddening in the wind, but uh, as you can see, it burns and holds a good good coal. And uh, probably why it works so well. Uh, when using a, a hand drill made of mullen. Uh, the pith uh, catches a flame uh, real easy, but it's so lightweight and uh, blows away in the wind here so easily. So I don't want to risk uh, any of those embers getting any place else. But uh, yeah, quite simple to, uh, to split it down with a knife and uh, just shave off the uh, layers and you get some really nice lightweight shavings that'll take a take to a spark real easy. Uh, Alright, that uh, should do it for another natural tinder. <laughs> Mullen. Good stuff. Mike here just wrapping it up for the five natural tinders lit with a fire steel. Of course we had the uh, birch bark, we also did the cedar bark, the cottonwood inner bark, uh, the cattails and the uh, thistle, uh, along with some uh, other natural tenders such as the uh, milkweed, and uh, we tried the uh, pith from the uh, mullen, and uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, it's always good to practice those kinds of things to know uh, what works for the area that you're in. So with that, I want to say thanks to Sergeant uh, Mack for keeping track of us, and of course to Terry and all of you instructors there at Bush Class USA for keeping on top of these things and getting us guys out there and doing stuff. And uh, I hope until the next adventure you guys have a great day and, and uh, happy exploring.